Hello everyone. It's Tuesday the 14th of September. The time is exactly 12 noon and the temperature at the moment is 29 degrees. Back there you can see the pinnacle, a couple of the well-known hotels in city center. So the Oasia Carlton over there. There's also a Sofitel hotel down there. And today the plan is to walk along Cecil Street. <laughs> um, we'll start here in Tanchang Pakara Park near the Tanchang Pakar MRT station or actually at the station I guess. And we're pretty much where Cecil Street starts, so even before before it really becomes a street of its own. So there's Maxwell Road going across there. And uh, today's walk will be themed kind of a financial district walk, so we'll be making our way across across the area that has most of the uh, these um, high buildings and the high rises. The skyscrapers and such. Let's cross here on the diagonal. Actually, we'll do it in one go. So you can see we are turning onto Cecil Street now. And right here on the other side is the Telok Ayer Park with the Really cute little uh, swings that you can use uh, just to have a break or uh, a lot of people used to at least have lunch. Travels place and here around these areas. This is kind of the heart of the uh, central business district that we're walking into today. And because it's noon, of course, it's a uh, lunch hour for many people as well. So many people have gone back to the office, especially I think even more so before 
the sort of latest rise in COVID cases, which again brought some restrictions, but if you cannot work from home and uh, for a percentage of people who work in your office, it's possible to go into the office as well. And often these business district offices would be the ones where people will return perhaps a bit sooner than some other offices. So you're starting to see sort of some life come back into these areas at certain times as well. Actually, let's, let's go through here. There's a lobby to a building. So buildings have traced together, um, which is the app used when you go uh, into a grocery store, for example, or you go into a building even residential buildings, if you're visiting a friend, they have traced together, so you basically use your app to scan a QR code, and then uh, it will keep track of where you've been. So if you go to a place where there's exposure to your COVID and a lot of cases, then you'll be told and uh, asked to take a test. and quarantine where needed. So I thought today this kind of a city walk would be a nice change from these uh, traditional shop houses. We've been walking around Chinatown a lot. And sort of that kind of area. So it's nice to come into the city or the financial district, those are also part of the city, of course. These city areas are quite nice to visit as well because I remember um, after the sort of longer lockdowns going somewhere for the first time I did ride through a couple of times on the motorbike but there was really no reason to come here at one point during the pandemic and uh, I remember being on a taxi going home from uh, a restaurant for the first time after they sort of opened up and uh, looking at these tall buildings and thinking like there actually is a city here that I haven't really seen for such a long time. There's something about that sort of skyline of skyscrapers and uh, just the city uh, background that's really uh, nice to see once in a while remind yourself where you are I think at Bunda Street we're going to be hit by a red light have to wait for the next light cycle
think the uh, Thai Airlines ticketing office is probably not open. But that figure was still there. food center which now has a sign that it is closing and moving to a building a completely new building and there in the background is Lokasat food center you'll see in Singapore quite a lot with buildings having uh, plants and green spaces even on their walls or terraces So if you continue that way, there's Telok Ayer MRT. And then you can already see back there some of the buildings that are more part of the traditional Chinatown. Although this area is part of Chinatown as well. You wouldn't necessarily think of it as that, more like the central business district. There's a guy on a bike who stopped the skater for one reason or another. I don't know what happened there. It's one of those things when you're on the pavement. So. Even if it's not that crowded riding your bike here or skating here it's going to lead to a incident I guess so this is where Cecil Street as such ends so we'll walk the full length of Cecil Street no thank you Here's a look at this new yeah. building before all the people. <laughs> Across the street. I don't know if you can see any of that. Let's see. We can make a detour. It has this uh, design where. Uh, where there is a kind of a parking space in the middle of the building, I guess. 
something like that. And it looks like the uh, structures of the building are kind of splitting. So that's a different kind of design. That's just to get a look at this this building. But I think we'll continue. Continue the same route we came from and keep walking. So a lot of people seem to be out on their lunch breaks, as you would expect. This is 20 past 12 now. That's just coming to an entrance of Raffles Place and Marty. And we'll get to a the other ones in a moment. Oh, the sudden stop. It's difficult to know what to know in those moments when someone walking right in front of you stops and turns. Oh, no, I'm done. This is already the buildings around Marina Bay. So that will take you towards Marina Boulevard, Marina Bay. And then here's Raffles Square. The two entrances to the MRT here. And then that way, continue continuing on the road that was Cecil Street earlier on. This turns into Collier Key and if you follow that you end up at the Fullerton Hotel which we might actually do, why not? Just uh, have a quick look around here. There's Republic Plaza, one Raffles place and the square at the back. So we're, we are and we have been walking in the uh, central business district and in sort of the heart of that financial district. And underneath us are tunnels that you can use to get through all this traffic and all these streets all the way past Sail and uh, and into the shopping centers on Marina Boulevard. So there's a piece of art on Raffles. And that's just another look at these buildings quickly. I do look like this kind of like um, city views around this area. A lot of these buildings will house banks. Another financial industry and all that sort of thing.
then if you cross that pedestrian bridge you get to uh, One Fullerton and Marina Bay. There's another art wall over there. And as you can see, a green wall. These are pretty common and very nice. And Singapore has a maybe you better be here. Singapore has a lot of this type of thing. And also rooftop. Rooftop greenery, farms even, urban farms. So there is a lot of science being done at the moment to uh, develop those solutions. Singapore obviously doesn't have a lot of farming land, that kind of thing. There is some. But any solution that would sort of bring that into the city in a meaningful way is interesting here so there's a lot of research done on that kind of thing and uh, on vertical farming rooftop farming and also solutions coming out of here of course with all of that you have to keep in mind temperatures and sun as well so it's not an easy easy thing to figure out always this way is also through to Raffles Square and there you can have a glimpse of shops at Marina Bay Sands, the base of Marina Bay Sands. So I think we'll get a better view once we get a little bit further. The other side, you're starting to get a view of the taller buildings around the uh, Sandak City and. Uh, Esplanade. And very soon we'll come to uh, Fullerton Square and the Fullerton Hotel. There is the uh, Marina Bay Sands. There's the Fullerton Bay Hotel. Just to put you on the map, so we're very close. Basically, where the Singapore River starts. going to cross here. It's the Bank of China building. I think we'll have a look at the riverside quickly. So there's the fairly impressive and big Fullerton Hotel. I'll make a quick detour from here to the riverside yeah, 
and then maybe we can walk over to Raffles place to uh, finish this walk in a sort of appropriate fashion considering it's uh, been one of the city views It's also been a very pleasant day to walk because it almost looks like it's going to rain. It did for a tiny bit just as I was leaving this morning but there's a nice breeze it's a little bit cloudy This here on the other side is uh, Boat Key. Then the Asian Civilizations Museum. And of course, the Fullerton Hotel, which you cannot miss in this part. There's the quite a fun statue of uh, the children jumping into the river which I don't think <laughs> is recommended anymore but nice little piece of art and uh, back there the durian shaped theater is on the bay or by the bay um, quite a few motorbikes parked here it can be a bit tough to find a place to park in the city the river merchants is the name of this work here uh, this culture shows Scotsman Alexander Laurie Johnston, a prominent merchant of early Singapore, mediating between a Chinese trader and a Malay chief. So they're negotiating. He's going to do the hard work as well as uh, people loading these uh, goods that they're going to sell. You can find that kind of uh, sculptures across town. I think I covered some of them when I was walking along Amoy Street and in that small park there. There are also inside some shopping centers in Chinatown. They depict sort of the history. Some of it I think is really fun, like the children on the bridge and the carnival or festival. Um, scenes. Both key looks fairly quiet this time of the day you can actually hear the microphone cord moving in my pocket so I'm going to just uh, adjust that for a bit I've been trying to find this audio noise I wonder if that's it like this noise that appears on the videos or appears on some of the videos <laughs> sometimes you can even see others here someone who was visiting in Singapore 
saw them the first time he was here, I think. I was kind of jealous of that. <laughs> they do come around here as well. I've never seen them here, but I know it has happened. Let's walk through the uh, building here, the bank building. So we'll walk through here and get back to uh, Raffles place, I think. Have a look down the street to continue that theme of city views. That's a fun statue with the piece of it seemingly hanging in the air. Called Homage to Newton. continue that way and have pretty similar views still for a bit That's the same building we were looking at from the other side before. With that interesting design. One altitude, one of the tallest buildings you can have a view over the city. And as we come back to Raffle Square from the other side, you have the MRT stations there. Or the one MRT station for two entrances. Some people enjoying their lunch on the green. And my plan is to go and get a coffee somewhere around here and then pick up lunch. So I think what we'll do is 
end this video in these scenes. There's a screen right there. Um, if you wonder about the noise. So thank you so much for joining me today for this walk on, along Cecil Street to uh, Battle Square. And uh, through the financial district or central business district. I hope you enjoyed the walk. And if you'd like to see more walks from Singapore, you can always subscribe to this channel. But for today, I think we'll end with the view of the green wall on that building from the other side. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the walk and I hope I'll see you again soon.